here we are again. This is not a new nightmare, it is a recurring one. A very active scene here at the elementary school and it'll continue to look like this throughout the night. We have become a nation of fear, dread, and self-loathing. Heartbreak in this tiny South Texas community. Anger seems to be everywhere, just under the surface. School in Uvalde, Texas. Where are our leaders? What are they doing? The close-knit community tonight feeling the shock. Today's shooting comes amid what seems like an explosion of violence. The situation here in Santa Monica, California is very fluid. You can see police here now firing tear gas into the town. The nation erupted. In Rather than come together in love, compassion, and unity, there are forces at work that seem to thrive on us all falling apart and falling down. Selling despair. I don't pretend to have all the answers to these problems, and I certainly know that the suffering is real. If there is a good answer, my guess is that it involves leaving fear behind and stop selling and profiting from it. Fear drains power and life, grows distrust and alienation. Too much fear and we become powerless. Our power is most needed to benefit the world in times that we find ourselves in now. Training on just practical. Certainly there must be some good news, human victories, outstanding stories of love we can all rally around and grow from. We must not become distracted by politics, left or right. Just focus on policies and actions that free the world and bring us all closer together and to love. We must dare to undo the damage. We must unlearn the training that has been forced upon us. We must become free. Whatever culture, tradition, or heritage we come from, whether we come from Asia, Europe, Africa, or somewhere else, we are all children from our ancestors. We are but one small temporal link in the present going back to an infinite distant ancient past. Similarly, we are now a unique and precious connection to the future without end that is yet to be. What we do now is important. Be worthy of your ancestors. Be worthy of your children. Live with nobility. Live in power, freedom, and compassion. But most of all, live without fear. Hidden away in the world before our very eyes, if we dare to see it, there is beauty. There is that connection to our inner nobility.
We were born free. We were made from love. Existence must be life-affirming. This is the greatest revolution possible. Don't let anyone steal it away. A good friend of mine recently said, to fall down is but part of life. Getting up is living. Let's get back up and start to live.